Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, Jay Briggs here from PickDogs.com, bringing y'all my NBA Jam session on December 25th, 2022, man. Merry Christmas to all. Thank y'all for being here with your boy, man. I did lose my voice earlier today yelling at my TV watching that Cowboy game, so I'm sorry that y'all got to deal with this today, but uh, it should be back soon. But uh, yeah, man, uh, great win for the Cowboys, man, but I lost my voice in the process. But if you're looking for more of this great content, man, in the NBA, um, y'all know what to do, man. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And drop a y'all like down in the comments. If you're looking for best bets from myself and the best handicappers on the planet, check us out over at PickDogs.com. Click that premium picks tab. If you're looking for my $15 NBA Jam Session play, link is in the description. That is my best bet in the NBA every night, man. We've been pretty hot on that play here recently as well and over the span of this month. So scoop that up, $15. Um, let's make some money tonight, man. Follow me on Twitter at ParlayGuyJ for injury updates. And if my mind changes due to late information coming out of the association, probably won't throw it on today's card. Um, but, man, Christmas Day, five-game card. I love tonight's card, man. I'm ready to hop into it. We've been red hot on this jam session, man. Last few days, we've been 22-5 and five on this jam session. So we're seeing the NBA really well, man. We just want to keep this momentum rolling forward. Hopefully we can do that here tonight on this Christmas day. Again, thank y'all for being here with me on Christmas, man. Let's make some money tonight. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into tonight's NBA action. And again, sorry for my voice today, man. It happens. <laughs> All right, man. In our first matchup of the night, we got the Philadelphia 76ers on the road facing the New York Knicks. Philly laying two and a half, total 218. Both of these teams, man, have been playing some fairly good basketball here recently, man. We know the win streak Philly is on. They've won seven straight. The Knicks have lost their last two games, but before that, they were on what? I think it was an eight-game winning streak. I'm not sure the exact number, but they were on a significant one. I think it was eight. Um, here today, I'm taking the Knicks on the money line at home. I know they just lost in back-to-back -back games to the Raptors and the uh, Bulls, but I think they get this one done here at home. And it's for me in this one, it's more a fate of the 76ers. The 76ers, I know they've won, like I said, seven straight basketball games. All seven of those basketball games, though, were at home. Now they find themselves on the road here in this one. Their last road game was December 5th. So the 76ers have essentially been at home all December long. Now they're back out on the road. I don't necessarily love the spot for them. Although this is Christmas Day, I think they will still put their best foot forward. I think the Knicks, man, at home play some inspired basketball. I like what I've seen from the Knicks here recently, man. And I think that uh, they go ahead and get themselves a home win here. So in our first matchup of the night, man, I'm fading the Philadelphia 76ers. They were my best bet just last night. Um, Y'all probably watching this on Christmas Day. So two days ago on the 23rd, they were my best bet against the Clippers. And that game, they have fell down 20 points early in it. Yeah, they did come back, win, and cover in that one. You know, I wasn't, I didn't love necessarily what I seen from them early in that game, man. And uh, I think the Knicks can, can play some really good basketball here today. And I'm just going to take the Knicks at home on the money line. Don't love the spot for the Sixers out on the road for really like the second time in December. Um, since the fifth, I can't trust them on the road here. Give me the New York Knicks. I'm taking them on the money line here in our first matchup on Christmas Day. This one gets going at 11 a.m. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Los Angeles Lakers on the road facing the Dallas Mavericks. Dallas home favorites laying eight, total 229. This is Christmas Day game, and this will also be the day that the Mavericks chose to unveil the Dirk Nowitzki statue. Um, so a pretty big deal here in Dallas, you know, Dirk Nowitzki, the face of the Mavericks, um, brung the only championship here to Dallas for the Mavericks in 2011, beating LeBron James. Now LeBron has to relive that. <laughs> it's kind of ironic, but it's funny, though. But uh, for me in this one, I know the Mavs as a favorite have been terrible this season. One of the worst cover teams in the league. They, will be the, they would be the worst if it wasn't for the Miami Heat. But... Um, I'm going to lay the points there with the Mavericks here in this one, man. Uh, I can't trust the Lakers either, man. The Lakers just lost at home to the Charlotte Hornets, 134-130. Um, they lost handedly on the road to the Sacramento Kings, 134-120. They lost to Phoenix handedly, 130-104. That's the last three games for the Los Angeles Lakers. I do not like what I've seen 
in the last three for the Lakers. This team desperately is missing Anthony Davis. And uh, just w without him playing, man, it's hard. It's really hard for me to be back in the Los Angeles Lakers, man. We're going to look at the Mavs. The Mavs have been playing some fairly good basketball here recently, man. They've won three of their last five. Granted, four of their last five were on the road. Their last four straight were on the road. They played Cleveland. They played them really competitive in that one, 199. Luka did not play in that one. They lost to Minnesota in a game where Kidd and Luka got ejected. Then they turned around and beat Minnesota, 104-99 on the road. And then they beat Houston in their last one, 112-106, laying seven. They failed to cover in that one. But um, I think tonight, though, just a lot of things going on. I think the Mavs come in locked in and focused. And uh, I'll lay the points here with the Mavs. Can't trust the Lakers on the road. Um, so, yeah, the Mavs laying the points is the, is the side for me in here in this one. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the game of the night, man. I'm, this is the one right here. This is the game. We got the Milwaukee Bucks on the road facing the Boston Celtics. Celtics laying five, total 225, man. For me in this one, I'm on the Bucks. In a game like this, if you're going to give me five points, I'm going to take it. And um, usually, if this wasn't Christmas Day, I probably would be on the Celtics. But um, I just don't think this is going to be a letdown spot for either team. Both teams coming here with their best foot forward. And with that being said, I just think that having five points with the Bucks is the side to be on. And granted, it's not like the Celtics have just been in that same dominant fashion they were earlier in the season. Um, the Boston Celtics have only won two of their last five. They've only won one of their last four home games. And... Um, the last game, their last home game they won was their last game out against the Minnesota Timberwolves. They won that one 121-109. They kind of pulled off late there in the end. Before that, they lost three straight home games to the Indiana Pacers, 117-112. And they lost back-to-back -back home games to the Orlando Magic. Now, granted, the Magic have been playing some really great basketball here recently, but... The Celtics coming into that one were arguably the number one team in the NBA. And you lose back-to-back -back home games against the Orlando Magic? I don't like to see that, man. Especially not with Milwaukee coming into your building with the best player on the planet in Giannis Antetokounmpo, man. And if you're going to give me five points in a game like this, which I think comes down to the final buzzer, I'm going to take the five points. I would not be shocked in the slightest if Milwaukee won this game. I wouldn't be shocked if Boston won this game. But five points in a heavy-hitting matchup like this, I'm going to take it, man. Like I said, I'm not overly in love with the spot for Milwaukee. If this had been any other day other than Christmas, I probably would be on Boston. But it's Christmas, and I don't see a letdown spot. This is going to be Milwaukee's fifth road game in their last six games. Um, fifth road game in their last six games. And also Boston, this is going to be their fifth straight home game. But like I said, it's Christmas Day, man. They know all the eyeballs are on them. I don't see this being a letdown spot. And with that being said, man, usually that's what I mean when I see it a letdown spot. Fifth row game, fifth, five row games in your last six. You know, you usually don't have all your juices flowing. But I think they definitely have their juices flowing for this one. And uh, you're going to give me five points with the best player on the planet. Uh, I'm going to take it, man. Give me the Milwaukee Bucks plus the five in this one. Like I said, I wouldn't be shocked in the slightest if they won this game outright. All right, man. In our next matchup of the night, we got the Memphis Grizzlies on the road facing the Golden State Warriors. Memphis laying six and a half, total 229, and I'm laying it with Memphis here in this one. Golden State has been awful here recently, man. They really have. I know they're at home in this one where they played their best basketball, but all that was with Stephen Curry. No Curry in this one. I can't back the Warriors, not even at home. They've only won one of their last five, um, and they haven't even been competitive here recently, man. Brooklyn just beat these boys 143-113. Uh, they were up 40 at half. Um, New York beat them 132-94. They did beat the Raptors 126-110 on the road, but, you know, the Raptors were were in a span where they were playing terrible. They lost to Philly 118-106. They lost to Indiana 125-119. And now you're facing one of the hottest teams in the Memphis Grizzlies. Granted, I will say this, the Grizzlies have also one of the worst road records against the spread in the NBA. I think it's 4-10-2 against the spread uh, on the road this season for the Memphis Grizzlies. So that is a scary stat, man. But I think they do get this one done here. This is going to be their first 
um, Christmas Day game, and I think they want to send a statement throughout the league. Give me the Grizzlies. I'm laying the six and a half here in this one. The Grizzlies have been playing some really good basketball here recently, and I'm not going to fade them, man. Uh, the Grizzlies have won three of their last five. They do have two road losses in there to the Denver Nuggets and the Oklahoma City Thunder. But in their last one, they beat the Suns 125-100. They beat Milwaukee in this span on the 15th of December 142-101. Beat Atlanta 128-103. They were on that long winning streak before they – uh, they were on that long winning streak at home before they lost out on the road against Oklahoma. And this is their fourth straight road game. And like I said, they haven't been good on the road all season. 4-10-2 against the spread on the road. But here in this one, kind of like I said earlier, um, this is these are kind of different because this is a Christmas Day game. They know all of the eyes are on them. And I just think the Grizzlies respond and play a really good game. They're finally getting back healthy. Bain is back in the fold. They're the much better team in this one. Um, the Warriors are going to be missing some guys, too. Like I said, we know Curry's been out. But it looks like Wiggins still going to be out. Draymond, I'm now seeing him day to day. So I'm not really sure who plays for the Golden State Warriors. And uh, I can't get there with them, man. So I'm definitely laying the points here with the Memphis Grizzlies. And in our final matchup of the night, man, we got the Phoenix Suns on the road facing the Denver Chicken Nuggets. Denver laying four and a half, total 230, man. For me in this one, I'm taking the Chicken Nuggets at home, and I'm laying the points. Devin Booker is questionable to play in this one. If he plays or if he doesn't play, regardless, I'm taking the Nuggets at home, man. They've been playing some really good basketball here recently at home, and I'm just not going to fade them, man. They just beat the Portland Trail Blazers. Um, last night on the 23rd, I'm, depending on when you're watching this. But they beat the Portland Trail Blazers on the 23rd, 121-07. They, they beat the Grizzlies on the 20th, 105-91. The Grizzlies were red hot before coming into that one. They beat the Charlotte Hornets, 119-115. That's the only game at home in that span that they didn't win by double digits. They got a road loss to the Lakers in that one, 126-108. But then they also got a home win in that span, 141-128 against the Wizards. When I see the Nuggets at home, man, I love taking the Nuggets at home, especially in those late windows like these. That's where they typically play their best basketball, man. And like I said, um, Murray's starting to get back healthy. We know uh, Jokic back-to-back -back MVPs, man. Um, I'm not going to fade them here tonight, man. The, um, the Suns have been struggling here recently. They just got beat handily by Memphis on the 23rd, 125-100. They lost to the Wizards, 113-110. Um, granted, I will say... A lot of this damage was done, no Devin Booker, and he could be back in this one, but I still don't think it's going to bode well. The Nuggets play their best basketball at home, and I think I just think that continues, man. Uh, Nuggets are a scary team, man. 20 and 11 on the season. They're quietly just climbing up that Western Conference standings, and uh, they're doing it by playing a really good basketball at home where they find themselves here tonight, and... Um, I just think they continue to do that. The Suns on the road this season haven't been the best team, and um, especially with their best player, Devin Booker, coming off of injury, if he plays at all, I just I still don't love the spot for the Suns. And the Suns just played four straight home games. Now they find themselves out on the road. Don't love the spot for the Suns. Man, it should be a great game. But when it's all said and done, I think the Nuggets do win and get a home cover at home on Christmas Day. So to end out it, I'm going to take the Nuggets, and I'm going to lay the points with them at home. And that's going to conclude tonight's NBA Jam session on December 25th, 2022, man. Merry Christmas. Thank y'all for watching, man. Thank y'all for being here with your boy on Christmas Day. Let's make some money tonight, man. If you're looking for my best bets, the ones that I'm placing today, as well as best bets from the top handicappers on the planet, check us out over at PickDogs.com. Click that premium picks tab. If you're looking for my $15 NBA Jam Session play, my best bet in the NBA every night, link is in the description, man. Scoop that up, $15. We've been red high in the NBA. We want to stay that way, man. 22-5 and five in our last few days here on the Jam Session. Um, we've been red hot, man. We want to stay that way. Thank y'all for watching again. Merry Christmas to all. Follow me on Twitter, Parlay Guy J. Talk to y'all there, man. Talk to y'all in the comments. Let's make some money tonight. Holla at y'all tomorrow. It's been your boy Jay Briggs. Merry Christmas, man. And I'm out. Peace.